The word monomer can be broken down to mono meaning one and mer meaning molecular parts. The monomers in addition polymerization will always have a carbon to carbon double bond. The word polymer can be broken down to poly meaning many and mer meaning molecules or parts. This is where we join many monomer units together to form one long polymer chain. The polymer will have carbon to carbon single bonds and we will have to put a square bracket around this as we we're just showing a small section of the polymer chain. Step number one, we want to break the bonds between every two carbon atoms. We then fold in the arms to create the carbon to carbon double bonds. This should create three monomer units. We then want to take the monomer out of the H shape. This is where we highlight the carbon to carbon double bond and then we would bond any branches up to form a straight chained alkene. When we do this, we get the full structural formula and the monomer name of this particular example is propene. Here's an example for you to have a go. And when you're ready, you can pause the video and I will talk through the answer. Step number one, we want to break the bonds between every two carbon atoms. We then fold in the arms to create the carbon to carbon double bonds. This should create three monomer units. To take the monomer out of the H shape, we highlight the carbon to carbon double bond. We then bend any branches up to form a straight chained alkene. If we wanted to name this monomer, we would have four carbons in a row. The carbon to carbon double bond is in position one. So this monomer would be known as but1-ene, which means the name of the polymer would have been polybut1-ene. So here are two examples for you to have a go. The polymer chain is given and see if you can get the monomer into the H shape, draw the full structural formula for that monomer and see if you can name it also when given the polymer name. When you're ready, the answers will pop up in the screen. Past paper questions from the National 5, 2015, multiple choice 17. Part of the structure of a polymer is drawn below. The monomer used to make this polymer is. Step number one, we want to break the bonds between every two carbon atoms. We then fold in the arms to create the carbon to carbon double bonds. So the correct answer to this question is multiple choice answer A. This past paper questions from the National 5, 2019, multiple choice 20. A copolymer is formed when two different monomers polymerize. Part of the structure of a copolymer showing three monomer units is given below. One of the monomers used is propene. Identify the other monomer. Step number one, we want to break the bonds between every two carbon atoms. We then fold in the arms to create the carbon to carbon double bonds. The monomer propene would have three carbon atoms. So we want to get rid of that because that's already been identified in the question. We then want to take the monomer out of the H shape and when we do this and name this, the name of the other monomer is but2-ene. So the correct answer to this past paper question is multiple choice answer C. 